Hey everyone, this is Vicki with Messy Table Studio here today for my Creative Year Facebook group, or MCY. Um, I'm not exactly following the prompts, I'm just doing my own thing, but I thought I would bring you along to watch the process of how I sketch flowers. Now this flower is not from um, Instagram, it's from a friend's photo. Her name is Josie, and she goes, she calls her backyard her private jungle and it's got some great flowers and so she takes photos there and at the Norfolk, Norfolk Bot Botanical Garden and when she posts her pictures I have been so intrigued by them that I'm trying to teach myself how to draw them. So the first thing I do is I look at the photo and now I'm going to take this is a um, glue dots used thingy you know the cardboard stuff so I'm going to take that and I'm going to draw inside it now. It's got paint where I used it for a um, mark making tool, so it's a little rough on the inside, but I don't really care. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to fast forward through this so you can watch the process because talking through this whole thing, I can't talk and draw at the same time, evidently. So let me bring you in closer. So you can, there we go. Hope I stay in frame. So you can see what I'm doing and I will see you on the other side. Okay, so <laughs> as you can tell, I did not fast forward. <clears throat> Excuse me, so I'm going to tell you what this is. Um, Josie has labeled this photograph as a marsh marigold. Let's see if I can find a pen. Oh, that's a brush pen. I have all my pens and junk like right next to me, so when you hear noise, it's because I'm rifling through them, trying to find the number on the pen of how large or how small I wish it to be. This will do. I'm going to write on here marsh marigold. M A R S H M A R I G O L D Marsh Marigold. So now I'm committed to doing this. So I've taken this, I've drawn it, and then what I'm going to do is I'm going to take a quilling a quilling ruler that I have, or you can use um, templates, but I have this handy, so I'm going to use this because the inside of the flower has stamen. I'm not sure how big I want to make this. I think I probably want to go this way. I'm going to kind of put that in the middle and I'm not really measuring stuff. I just see it's off center, but I don't really care. So let's see, I'm going to look at the leaves and I'm going to put a dot here so I can remember where I am. Um, okay, now I am going to fast forward you through this part because I stutter, I stop, I start out erase, and you know, I have my. Um, my flexible gum eraser where I'll erase stuff. I like this better than this because this leaves residue, you know, little thingies. And this, you just drag it over it and it doesn't make a mess. And yes, it's kind of hard to get it started, but you know, if you're a worrier, you can sit around and play with this for a few minutes and worry about something and then do your art and set it aside because it's nice and warmed up and it, it'll be great to, um, you know, get rid of things. I really like this. It looked much prettier a long time ago, but it still works. All right, now I'm going to fast forward.
Okay, so it's done, and I don't think I gave the flower the justice it deserved, but I think what would improve it is if I used watercolor, and I'm not sure I'm confident enough to paint this in in watercolor and not mess it up. Besides, when you use watercolor over these pens, it tends to mute them a little bit. Um, I could go back over it the pen later. The thing is, is there's lots of stamen in here, and then there's discoloration on the leaves as it goes from the inside out. Then, of course, there are leaves that are curled, leaves that are discolored, and the light reflection. So, I don't know if I want to watercolor this one or not, but, you know, it's my first attempt drawing it. So, usually what I do is I'll draw one, which is my first one, and then I'll go back and I'll draw another one, only I will try to be slower and go into more fine details. These lines right here were done with a, well, <laughs> maybe. <laughs> I swear, I have so many pins on my desk, I don't know which way is up. Um, it's done with a .005, and that is one of the most delicate ones there are. They're the easiest ones to make the tiniest lines with. Of course, you know I can't find it since I'm telling you about it. Anyway, so that's what, um, oh, here it is, 0.005. Um, and so it it's hard to get all of the lines in as delicately as they look on the flower. But, you know, you give it a try. That's my first one. And that's it. So... That's all I have for I all I have for today. Thank you very much for watching and be sure to join the My Creative Year Facebook page and check out all the other artists to see what they're up to. Thanks everyone. Bye-bye.